Hi guys, Miss Kyla here. I'm gonna read you a story in my fort I just built. It's a crowd favorite. We're gonna read Parker Picks. With the flashlight. Here we go. This is Parker, Parker Picks. He's been picking for a long time. In fact, Parker's been picking as long as he can remember and he's getting good at it. Sometimes Parker picks and flicks it in a fishbowl. Gross, Parker. Sometimes Parker picks it and sticks it to the wall. Sometimes he even picks and feeds it to his dog. Parker's finger is just the right size for picking. On a really good day, he can almost tickle his brain. Ew, he must be sticking his finger way up there. Parker's mom and dad do not approve. His older sister thinks it's gross. Ew. And his teacher does not allow it in class, but Parker doesn't care. These opinions come from people who have never picked their own noses and they don't know what they're missing. On Saturday, Parker came down with a cold. His nose was stuffy and swollen, but even that didn't stop Parker from picking. Parker was just finished. Parker had just fin was finishing off a particularly huge pick when all of a sudden his finger wouldn't budge. He tried and he tried to pull it out, but it was no use. The finger was stuck. Parker was in a state of permanent pick. His finger got stuck in his nose because he picks his boogers so much. Oh, no. Parker's parents tried everything they could think of. Even the doctor ran out of ideas. All anyone could do was wait and hope that eventually, when it was ready, Parker's finger would come out on its own. The following Monday was better than Parker expected. Since he couldn't write... He was excused from taking his spelling tests. Then on Tuesday, his mom had to cancel his piano lesson. On Wednesday, he got out of doing chores. Things were definitely looking up until Thursday. When Mr. McSweeney made him sit on the bench during dodgeball. Because he can't catch a ball, right? When he only has one hand. Friday was worse. At Zachary Porter's bowling party, all Parker could do was watch. And watching isn't nearly as fun as bowling. On Saturday, Parker's dad took him up to the baseball game to cheer him up. They had great seats right behind first base. And Parker even caught a ball. The crowd cheered for the little boy who had made such a great catch. They whistled and they yelled when they saw that ball fly in his mitt. But the hoorays turned to hee hee hee. When Parker's pitcher filled the big screen above the field, there was Parker in all his glory, a grin on his face, and a finger up his nose. Everybody started to laugh. Parker started to cry. He cried for the rest of the game. All the way home, that night he even cried himself to sleep. And maybe it was all that crying that finally did the trick because the next morning, Parker woke up to discover that his finger had come unstuck. But look at that yucky booger. Parker was so happy that he promised his mom and his dad, his sister, his teacher, and even himself, he would never ever pick his nose again. And he hasn't. Now he picks out his scabs. Ew. Moral of the story is, we don't pick our boogers because then our fingers could get stuck. Let's get a tissue and then some germ juice or wash our hands. Miss you guys.